Can we put that in? Uh, I don't know if we can, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you want to deal with the backlash, we could put that in. Maybe, maybe save it till next time. All right. Alibi embedders in bits. Welcome to Alibi and Betters in Bits from Ideal Noise Studios in London. I'm Matt Alibi. And I'm Betters. Hi, Mark. Hey. Number two. Number two. Oh, what, uh, what did you do over New Year's, Mark? Um, well, I kind of hope that you would remember that because I was with you. Ah, yeah. Yeah. It was We're, good. Yeah. Had it a was, fun time. Was, uh, with well, the kids. With the kids, yeah. Our little, my little boy, your little new bubba. Yeah. We had a few drinks, mental. And uh, and then we went back to yours and had a takeaway, didn't we? Oh, God, our lives are terrible. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone else was partying at a squat party <laughs> or in Goa or in Brazil, which we were at 10 years ago, by the way, at Universo Parallelo. Uh, was that 10 years ago? Literally 10 years ago. Got any fun stories about that one? I think my girlfriend at the time bit me in the face. Um, so your girlfriend bit you in the face? Yeah. Why did she do that, do you think, Mark? I don't know, but, uh, you know, yeah, she bit me in the face because she was a bit potty. Yeah. And you were consoling me, and I think you gave me all your music at the time. I was well happy about that. Well, uh, I mean, if you were bleeding from the face, I might have felt I don't sorry I was for bleeding, you. bleeding, but I was definitely, you know, shaken, <laughs> to say the least. Uh, did you... Uh, when you played, was this on the main stage? Yeah. D- was that before or after your girlfriend bit you in the face? Oh, that was uh, before. Well, to soften that uh, awful memory, Mark, or... <laughs> I mean, was it awful? I mean, it was kind of joyous and awful at the uh, same time. Bittersweet. Bit we hung sweet. out properly probably for the first time there, uh, so yeah. that was nice. I think we'd, we'd known each other for a while before that, but yeah, that was our, I guess, how we first met. Properly. Well, so to, to get over that... Uh, that traumatic experience maybe let's play a track let's do that all right this is uh, one of the uk's finest exports after marmite uh, nanoplex uh, the boys uh, from london uh, this track's called audio anonymous and it featured on iboga in the past uh, month so enjoy mean sun by alibi and bedders get it now on beatport it'll make your partner find you more attractive mm. Uh, well, I had some uh, news at the start of 2018, Mark. Oh, yeah? Uh, yeah, from the... I got my uh, first quarterly statement from the PRS. Do you know what the PRS is? I do. It's the uh, the body that pays you for your music that's sold or played. Or... Yeah, it's a royalty collection society. So, yes. you know, if you're yeah selling music or, you know, playing out, you, you generally get royalties paid for that. Mm-hmm. So I always get excited when I get a PRS letter. Start rubbing your hands. Oh, uh, start the year. Planning your holiday. Oh, what am I going to yeah. get? So uh, I opened the letter. How much? £8.47. <laughs> <laughs> Still pulling in the big bucks. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Billy Big Bollocks. That's a cracking start that's, to you. That's great. That doesn't obviously include the Alibi and Bedders uh uh, canon of music. Well, this is it. We're still waiting on that paycheck. So when that comes in, ooh, oh, I mean, what, what are we going to do with that money? Uh, I don't know. Should go to the pub, mm. get around, will we? Not even that in London. A packet of peanuts. Sweet. All right, let's play a track, shall we, Matt? Let's do it, man. What are we going to play? Okay, so this is uh, from Human Elements from the album Evolving. Again, we played a track of his on the last podcast. Um, this track is called Memories. It was out on Iboga. It's, for me, pretty much, I guess, a return to what I call proper progressive. Uh, and I think it's one of the best progressive albums released in the past uh, five years, in my opinion. In my humble opinion. Loving it. I'm Morgan Freeman. When I'm not out raving with all my friends, I like to recline back in my chair with my two dogs, bowl of muesli, and listen to Alibi and Betters. I'm Morgan Freeman. 
So, Mark, um, we've just come out of 2017 into 2018. I feel great. And this uh, just just um, a couple of days after New Year, this thing popped up on my Google feed, which mm-hmm. I thought was quite fun, so I thought I might run it by you. Cool. It's, um, for those of you who don't know, is an area in England called Liverpool, <laughs> where a little band called the Beatles came from. Who are they? Um, what do they sound like, Mark? It depends which one of the Beatles you're talking about. Can I speak to Paul? Hello, I'm Paul. I talk with a slightly high voice like this. Ringo? Ringo talks more like that. Thomas the Tank Engine. Very good. Thanks. Um, so anyway, it made me chuckle. I haven't actually read these all the way through yet, but the title of the uh, the news item on its own made me chuckle. That area of Liverpool, if you don't know, the people that come from there are called Scousers. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't they all called uh, Scousers? Well, it's named after um, a meal, Scouse. Oh, uh, yeah. That, that's where it comes from, which they all used to eat down the dock. Isn't that made of potatoes? I believe and... it's potatoes and cabbage and other northern, <laughs> <laughs> northern foods. <laughs> I mean, I am from the north. Yeah. I'm from I'm from 40 minutes down the road. Yeah, so. you're from the area which Scousers hate. Yeah. They, you all hate each other, don't we you? We kind of get on. It's only at football matches oh, they all fight. friendly rivalry between Scousers and Manx. Anyway, so the, the news article uh, was named Top 10 Things That Scousers Googled in 2017. <laughs> Amazing. So the first on the list. What time is it? <laughs> uh, <laughs> what time is it? What time is it? Well, they actually Googled that. They Googled it, yeah. Amazing. The top 10, this is. I mean, okay. So, so thousands of them, millions yeah. of them maybe Googled it. So my, my side job is recruitment, and I recruit in Liverpool, so I don't think any of these are going to surprise me. But okay. With all due respect to Liverpool. How about this one? Hmm. How to make slime. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, that's on the How list. How to make slime. How to make slime. What? I mean, can is there any elaboration on that? Uh, is that... Is that a dirty thing? Or? Uh, don't know, mate. <laughs> uh, not in my house. <laughs> okay. uh, reflecting the gooey DIY craze sweeping the world, so I must have missed out on this I've craze. I literally missed that, that fucking meeting. Here's a good one. The gooey DIY. Fa- okay, go on. Is my car taxed? <laughs> <laughs> Is me car taxed? Uh, uh. Here's another one. How to make pancakes. Okay. Yeah. I mean... That's fair enough. I mean, but what? What? So that's the third top thing that Scousers. No, said. these aren't in any order. Ah, I don't okay. Think. Um, what is my IP? I think that's fair enough. I googled that a lot. I think last year. What is my IP? Yeah, you don't even know what that is, do you? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay. I don't. Uh, how many weeks in a year? <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, what else is there? These ones aren't very good. No, that's all the funny ones. That's it. That's great. Have, have we got any more? Uh, 2017 news, or we pretty much wrapped that up. Well, no. I mean, you had a baby. That was good. How's the baby doing? It's very well. Still alive. <laughs> I haven't been asked to be a uh, godfather yet, but whatever. I haven't. Uh, I haven't even thought about that. To tell you the truth, no, it's fine. I'm sort of waiting for the invite, but uh, I think one of the uh, I mean criteria for sounds it sounds like you're already making an excuse. Well, isn't one of the, the criteria for that that the person should have a bit of money? <laughs> uh, yeah, I suppose that's fair enough. Uh, <laughs> Alibi and Bedders. All right, so we're going to play a world exclusive. Yay. I'm excited. This is, uh, it's one of my tracks. It's a track that's going to come out on Nano Records, hopefully in the next couple of months. Amazing. Um, it's a track that I wrote with Hoppy. Mm-hmm. Love Hoppy. Um, legend of legend. the UK scene. Yeah, for sure. And um, I, I'm I'm really uh, quite happy, smugly happy with this tune. Yeah, it is a fucking monster, this track. I played it track. a couple of times and I really enjoyed playing it. Yeah. And uh, I think we worked, we, we used a lot of sort of analogue gear in the studio and had a really good time making it. Um, so we're going to we're gonna play it now and um, you can let us know what you think. I, I love this track. On Nano Records, this is Alibi and Hoppy, Slippery Slow. Hello. Oh, hey guys, me again. I'm just laying by the fire with my ladies on the shag pile carpet. (laughs) And we are listening to Alibi and Bedders in bits. It gets them going. Ah, Mark. Mm. Parry. The smells, the sounds, the sights. So, uh, Alibi and Bedders are heading over to Paris on the 26th of January. 
Bonnet de Douche. Uh, we'll be playing at Auditorium at the Batafar N- Paris nightclub. It's good to be très bien. And we'll be playing for Remy, who is a lovely chap. We've both known him for many years, haven't we? Absolutely. And yeah. I'll tell you what, before we do this feature and potentially offend the entire city, <laughs> <laughs> I have to honestly say, and I've been saying this to everyone for years yeah. since I've been playing out in Paris, it's my favourite place to play in the world. Literally your favourite, yeah? Yeah, it's my okay. favourite out of every city in the world. I must it's my say, favorite place. over the past uh, few years, I've, I've really started to get the itch to want to play there, so I'm excited. Mate, the crowds excited. there are awesome, unless they've really lost the energy in the last couple of years because I haven't played there for a couple of years. Where would it go? Where would it go? So, yes. So, I figured um, as Paris is such a beautiful city yeah. and so much to do there, so many sites, so much art, so much culture. Sure. Great food, great restaurants, great shops. Great wine. Great wine. Lovely women. Lovely women. Um, probably a bit offensive that one, what I just said, but I Stop figured apologizing. I figured that it's a good idea maybe that we can come up with an alternative uh, guide to Paris uh, various things that you and I can maybe do so this is a guide things. this is a guide possibly to what we might be doing in Paris exactly I'm Wonderful touched things. I'm touched that you've done this research Mark. well you know I think you've got to make an effort in a relationship and I think that's what that's what makes these things work you're a strong man thank you okay uh, right so are you ready to hear about the fun things that I found for us please okay so first up are you ready yep it's it's pretty awesome. La Cemetery des Chiens. What is that? Which is basically a cemetery for dogs and other pets. Not the most romantic thing. A little bit cynical of you, but whatever. You know, those people love their pets. Little French poodle. I'm not we've, super impressed with we'll the beginning paint, of the date. Paint the scene. You and I, we've just had a little lovely meal. A yeah. lovely little boulangerie. We walk along the cobbled streets of Paris. Yep. I don't know if they're cobbled. <laughs> I don't either. <laughs> And uh, and it's a, and I say right, yep. taxi, take us to the pet. That's cemetery. the same anywhere in the world, taxi, what? isn't it? Yeah, taxi. Yeah, take us to the pet cemetery. And sure. and what's your reaction? Yeah, I'm not I'm overly impressed. I don't think. Okay, could we I, move on to the no, second I stage? This, don't worry, I've, okay. I've upgraded. Brilliant. After that, we're getting in the cab. We're whisking over to Le Ballon de Paris, yep. located in Le Parc de André Citron, Rue de la Montage. Uh, it's basically a hot air balloon that takes you 150 foot above the rooftops of Paris. Now, obviously, great if you don't suffer from vertigo, but um, what it will enable you to do is see the tops of people's roofs. I'm not good with heights. Not good with heights? No. Okay, move on. I'm scared. Moving on. Here we go. This yep. is, the, I mean, this is, to be honest, the highlight. So the highlight I, of the date. The Paris Sewer Museum. Keep talking. Well... Yeah, you had me at sewer. Mm. Uh, The museum covers the rich history of Paris sewer system and all its delights, including pipes and a five-ton flushing boat in what uh, once was the main sewer line between Place de la Concorde and Pont de la Mar. Uh, So, sewers, right? The French sewer. Yeah. Yeah, I'm down with that. Okay. Now, one thing I didn't warn you about, Matt, I mean, you've been to Paris, yeah, and I don't know if you've experienced this before. It's called Paris Syndrome. Okay. Okay. So, it's Paris syndrome. A genuine. You're spilling beer everywhere. What are you doing? The yeah. people of Paris are going to be shocked if you do that. Why? What should we do? <laughs> what should we do? <laughs> what should we do? Just get a tissue. I don't have any tissues. Oh, wipe it on your trousers. I don't want to wipe. Oh God. Can we go back to Paris syndrome, please? Yeah. Can I guess what it is? Yeah. Go on. Is it when uh, you're in Paris? Yeah. You've eaten too much cheese. Yeah. And so you, you basically cheese sweats. Cheese sweats. Is it something to do with cheese sweats? No. Uh, Paris syndrome is a transient mental disorder exhibited by some individuals when visiting or going on vac- vacation to Paris as a result of extreme shock derived from their discovery that Paris is not as good as they thought it would be. <laughs> <laughs> uh, That's a lot of pressure on Paris, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, the syndrome is characterised by a number of psychiatric symptoms that, <laughs> such as acute delusional states, hallucinations, feelings of persecution, um, prejudice, aggression, anxiety, and also um, manifestations such as dizziness and sweating. That, I mean, that seems yeah, it seems to me that that's a lot of pressure on Paris. Because it, it is this great, wondrous city of the world. Sure, but it, clearly it's not as good as they thought. <laughs> <it was. laughs> 
Well, Mark, <laughs> I haven't heard of London syndrome. No, that's true. Right? Sorry, uh, Parrot. By but the way, is we, that because London's a bit shit, or is it that? I guess people just expect London to be shit, and they're quite pleasantly surprised. I guess. <laughs> yeah, that it's not. Um, so yeah, that was Paris. I mean, I I, I hope you're happy with the itinerary I've I've laid, mapped out for us. I mean, a lot of it was toss, but what? Uh, I, uh, yes, I'm very very happy. <laughs> okay, can we stop this mental music now? So well, I'm very much looking forward to going to Paris now. Then yeah, I just hope you know. Hopefully, we don't get the old uh, what was it? Paris syndrome. Paris syndrome. Were well, you, me, matching uh, dressing gowns in a French hotel? Uh, yep. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where I'm going. Keep with talking. It. Uh, maybe we could uh, order room service. All right, let's stop all this waffle and actually play something that people actually want to hear, which is some bloody good music. I Mark. think we should do that. Right, so this is uh, a track coming up from, um, I guess, one of our favourite characters in the scene, uh, Mr. Klopfgeister. Du hast wegen wie man lebt. Well done. Love you. Love you too. Du hast <laughs> One and two in the place in the face. <coughs> Alibi and Bedders Breakfast Show. And now the news with Bedders. What's the news, Bedders? A robotic DJ arm has been playing at a nightclub in Prague. All right. Interesting. Okay. So, what's the what's the vibe with this? Uh, reports that arm shaped the arm shaped machine selects records with a pincer, which is apparently able to stretch and even pull out dance moves now and then. So, apparently, it can dance as well. Is it spinning vinyls? It doesn't specify whether it's, it plays vinyls, uh, but it's... apparently, it can scratch. Now, I don't know whether that is a good thing because part of the the DJ experience is the interaction with the crowd. Uh, I know yours is. You love waving your arms about, don't you? I do like a good elbow. Yeah. Uh, it's not just on its own, sharing its time on the decks with a human programmer. So there's obviously some sort of nerd, c- computer nerd just sat there clicking away. Uh, and what, just a giant arm? <laughs> just a giant arm. The club's manager, Adam Lip Sankey. <laughs> <I can't read. laughs> sorry, what's that name again? Lip, Lip Sansky, sorry, is optimistic of its success. Mm-hmm. How big is this arm? Uh, does, it go, does it have a picture? Hold on, let's see. There it is. See it? That's a massive arm. <laughs> <laughs> look, look how big it is. That's the record. Yeah. I mean, that is giant. That's as big as the club. It's something that, to be honest, it is something that you might see at a fun fair and go, oh, look at that, that's fun. I, I genuinely think I'd go, oh. But you know what also about that? It, it sounded generally interesting because we're, you know, we're pushing towards maybe AI and, uh, yeah. you know, that kind of thing. But there is just a bloke stood next to it yeah. playing the record. Which completely takes the point away from it. Uh, can we, to fa- round off this great feature, can we think of any arm uh, DJ puns? I don't know about this gig, but I'm getting out of here. Uh, is, is the DJ playing at that club called Armin van Helden? Beautiful. Techno. Mark, now we're going to play some techno. Techers. Um, this is one of my favourite producers on uh, techno scene at the moment, Patrice Beaumal, mm. French producer DJ. I think he's absolutely brilliant, and he's using a lot of arpeggiated sort of patterns. I think he's quite trancey. He's very techno, but um, yeah, it's quite psychedelic in its nature and uh, just quality. Um, This is a a remix that he did. It's a Hansa Patrice Beaumal remix. Sexy. Ain't no sunshine when she's gone. And if she does go, listen to Alibi and Bedders in bits. All right, so it's the part of the show where we play a classic tune from a year gone by. What is it this month? Yep, so this is a track that I used to play lots when uh, I started off DJing. Um, A track by an artist called Metronome and Sonitas, but Metronome predominantly uh, is out there doing amazing things on uh, labels such as Blue Tunes at the moment. Um, This track is called Psycho Poet. It's a really groovy little number. I mean, it used to absolutely kill the dance floor when I played it before, Uh, and for me it's timeless, really groovy. Enjoy. Alibi and Bedders. Surprisingly short when you meet them. 
So we made it through another podcast, Mark. We survived. We did it. Did, um, we, did we survive? I think so. I think we got through it. But I'm oh. sure uh, the many, many fans will let us know. Oh, I, I, how We love we get, you. We love all 30 of you. Are we going to handle the, uh, the, the fan mail? Uh, we're we're going to have to hire more help. Yep. Uh, please, if you like this, subscribe to it on SoundCloud. There, should, there is a, a new site called Podbean that I've been made aware of, so I'm going to try and get it up on there. Have a look in the information underneath here, the blurb. There should be a link to that. Um, like it, share it on SoundCloud. Let us know what you think. Um, let's do some plugs. Albi and Better is going to be playing 26th of January, Auditorium in Paris, France. Très bien. Come and see us there. Um, Alibi's Facebook Instagram is at Alibi Music SoundCloud is Alibi Better's Facebook at Better's Music SoundCloud Better's underscore Music mm. Further progressions at Further Prog The production and uh, jingles and all that whatnot on this podcast is done by a little company called Ideal Noise <laughs> who has a website <laughs> idealnoise.com If you like that um, you know we offer mixing and music production services we might make some jingles for your podcast mm. So uh, go and, and have a little look at that website. And if you uh, if you like silly voices, obviously just contact me. <laughs> just call Mark for some so, voiceover action. You're welcome. So Mark, how are we going to finish this show? We're going to finish it with a track from Mind Waves. The track is entitled Akasha on Iono Records. Have a good week. See you in bits. <laughs> Burning noise. Lovely. <laughs> it's got legs, this. Dexter. <laughs> MVMB <laughs> Go on uh, Freedom Fighters <laughs> <laughs> I don't think any of this is going to make it in No but... <laughs> uh, I'm Protonica <laughs> uh, Great fucking bit of that <laughs> I mean I enjoyed it I just don't think we can no, use it we can't <laughs> Can't use that Fucking bollocks uh. <laughs>